Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we are going to be looking at the beautiful, the lovely, the not most comfortable <laughs> Chanel trainers. And I'm going to be going through a couple of bits and pieces which I think are so important you guys know about because let me tell you, I ruined one of these pairs of trainers. And when I mean ruined, I don't mean a little bit, I mean a lot. And it was because of my OCDness. So before we get into that, if you could hit that like button because it helps me out loads. And if you're not already a subscriber, please consider subscribing and turning on post notifications so you never ever miss a video. I post up every Wednesday and Saturday at 3 p.m. and we focus on fashion and luxury. Without further ado, let's dive into these trainers that break my heart whenever I see these ones. Oh my goodness. Okay, where do I begin? I have two pairs as you guys saw from the pictures. I have the black and the white and the all black version. Now, all black version? Let's start with those because there's nothing wrong with these. I love them. I really, really do like them. I think they're a classic shoe in terms of the shape. You know, they're not like those ugly, chunky dad trainers that will go out of fashion or go out of date. They're just a classic shape trainer. And I, I, I mean, in that sense, I think, I don't wanna say they're worth the money because I genuinely, I'm sorry for what I'm about to say, but I don't think they are worth the money. And the reason why I say that is because if they didn't have that Chanel logo on it, the materials that are used to make this shoe, there's nothing like, wow, oh my gosh. Do you know what I mean? Like they don't feel and look like an expensive shoe, but it's just because of the branding that it is really expensive. <laughs> so in terms of whether these shoes are worth it, I personally don't think so. If you were to buy the shoe, it would be purely because of the branding as opposed to the quality and the materials and the comfort levels of the shoe. So I'm just putting that out there now from get go. Taking a closer look at them, as you guys can see, you have the Chanel logo on the side, both the sides, and then the Chanel logo on the top tab of the shoelaces. You've also got the branding at the bottom of the foot, the sole of the shoe. And then on the inside you have the Chanel label and the little made in Italy on the tongue of the shoe. In regards to the materials that they use on the shoe, they use like a nylon-y, I don't even know what this material is, on the top part of the foot. So um, as Chanel calls it on the website, other materials, that is what I would call it. And then they have like a suede for some of the other parts of the shoe, so like the side of it. Now I know you guys are looking at them thinking, yeah, they're just a plain black pair of shoes, but they actually have the reflective properties in the back of the shoe and along the side. So usually the Chanel label is lit up when certain lights hit it. Well, lit up, I say lit up, no, that's it's not actually physically lit up. But but you know what I mean, when, when the light shines, the CC logo lights up and then this little part on the outline lights up as well. So that's kind of cool, but only happens when certain light hits it. I did stay true to size when it comes to these trainers. I'm a size 38 and that is what these are in. And the cost of them is 920 pounds. Now, that is why I say they, in my opinion, they're just not worth that price. <laughs> I feel like these are shoes that you're literally paying just for the fact that you've got this on it, you know? That little logo is what makes the shoe, you know, and that's it. Because when you look at them, even just like this, to be completely honest, I'm not a huge fan of the way this wrinkles up. And I don't know if you guys will be able to, there you go, you can see it. It kind of like wrinkles up and I'm not a huge fan of the way it looks when it's just like that. But when it's on your foot, it stretches out really nicely and does look torn. So I guess it's not a real bad thing. But other than that, yeah, you know, I bought them and I bought them at a time where I was obviously, yeah, yo. <laughs> I wanted everything to have a logo on it and I felt like these were the shoes to have. I have to add the fact that it was a very long time ago, okay? When I bought them, I think they were about, uh, I wanna say 600 and something. So the fact that they're now 900 and you know, whatever it is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a huge jump in price and what you're paying now for these trainers So that's why I have two pairs, you know, like 
Back then, I could buy two pairs, almost for the price of what one pair costs now. So just putting it that way is, is it's crazy to me, right? Again, you've got the same materials as the black ones. You guys can see, can you see? Like, because I haven't worn these ones much, but they don't have that creasing the same way the black does. And this is how they will come out. But then as you start to wear them over time, they do start to end up looking like so with the creases at the top of the shoe. But like I said, it stretches out when you wear them. So it's not such a big deal. They're comfortable enough, but they're not like, let's say, Yeezy 350 levels of comfortable. And if you guys don't know about those trainers, those are like legitly 100% my most favorite trainers ever. <laughs> When I'm not wearing these or any other trainer, then I'm always, and nine times out of 10, I'm always wearing those because my Yeezy 350s, I don't care what outfit I'm wearing, I just find them so comfortable and I'm all about comfort. So although they aren't the same level as those, they aren't a shoe that you can't spend the whole day wearing. I took mine to France and I wore them for the whole day and I was absolutely fine. In fact, I got blisters from my cotton Oran sandals, my cotton twill Oran sandals. And at one point, like, yeah, I couldn't cope anymore. So I had to put these on and they're comfortable. They're not like, oh my gosh, irritating or anything like that. They're not like the Alexander McQueen's either. Uh, for those of you who own a pair of Alexander McQueen's, you'll know those aren't the most comfortable of shoes. And I don't know if it's because mine haven't been broken into, which I think is probably the case because I've seen a lot of people say, you know, Alexander McQueen trainers, you need, you need to break them in before they're actually comfortable. But these are comfortable from the get go. So you're not gonna have any issues wearing them for the whole day the first time you purchase them. They both come with spare laces. This one has another pair of black shoelaces. And then these ones actually have a white pair as opposed to the black that is currently on them. As you guys can see, these look like they've been worn a lot, but trust me, I've only worn them three times. The reason why they look so dirty is because they have been destroyed all due to the fact that I am OCD when it comes to my stuff and you know what this was a time where I'm like okay for once my over caring for items has actually bit me up my bottom <laughs> because uh, it hurts my soul whenever I look at them you guys behold do you see that dirt along here which is meant to be the reflective bit of the shoe that is sticky listen here you go. and it's all the way around the rest of the shoes absolutely fine it's just this reflecting bit which is look it makes them look dirty and i just hate wearing shoes that look dirty like i think that's my biggest and Oh, I can't stand it. And I remember taking them out and feeling it and I actually like pulled a little, not a little, yeah, a little layer off of the, the reflective bit because it's like, I can't explain it. It's literally sticky and melted at the same time. It just, like even now, look, I can peel it off. Do you see that? I don't know if you guys will see that. There. Yeah, do you see that? That's bit of the reflective bit and the fibers that have been stuck onto it. And it drives me absolutely insane. So please, this is my cry to you guys. If you are gonna spend 920 pounds on these trainers, do not not let them see the light of day because it will destroy the trainers. I mean, if you look at my black ones, my black ones are absolutely fine. Look, you know, I can do that. They're fine. They're not melted away. Oh wait, hang on. No. No, I take it back. These ones are starting to get melted. I can feel slightly. Oh, that's not good. I can feel ever so slightly that there's a slight stickiness to it. So I think maybe it's just a thing with the Chanel trainers. I don't know, you guys let me know. If you've had Chanel trainers, have you ever seen this or experienced it? Because in all, I. It's not something that should be happening. I'm sorry, it's not. They're not cheap trainers. I know they might look like they're on the cheaper side, but they're not cheap trainers, okay? <laughs> um, and, you know, I, in my opinion, this shouldn't be happening. It really shouldn't be happening. Um, these ones, okay, fine, maybe because I kept them in the box and I should have actually used them, but with the black ones, the fact that it's 
I'm feeling a slight stickiness to the reflective bit. If that does happen, it just goes to show. Not only do they look cheap, but they are made cheaply too. I'm going into London on Sunday, so I'll probably take them in then and get them looked at. I'm obviously gonna give them a, a quick clean. <laughs> Cause one look at them and they'll be going, ah, how long, how long, how long have you been wearing these shoes for? And yeah, it's just literally the outside though. The inside, you can see quite clearly actually that it's not, they're not dirty. They haven't been worn at all. Cause they're so, oh my gosh. But do you see what I mean? Look at this, in the nicest way. This just looks, it just looks cheap to me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to say it. Use your stuff, use it. And if you don't use it, don't leave it in the box. <laughs> Particularly when it comes to the Chanel trainers because if you do then this will happen and yes It is very infuriating. They just sit on my shelf now and I just look at them and I'm like, oh, what a waste What a waste of trainers. What a waste of money. What a waste of everything If I were to ever purchase another pair of Chanel trainers It will always be in colors like this because I feel like then you're getting value for your money If you bought a wacky colored pair of trainers There's only so much that you'll be able to style and so many different ways to be able to style that pair of trainers So I always recommend maybe sticking to something which is neutral black white is fine Although white you'll be hopping <laughs> skipping around trying to miss puddles and stuff and that is it Please do not waste your money and destroy your shoes the way that I have. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for watching, guys. I hope you have a beautiful rest of the week and I shall catch you in Saturday's video. Take care. Bye.